guys, it's Effie, and in today's video, as you saw from the title, I'm going to be doing some acrylic paint pouring. So I have some canvases and some paint pours, and I've seen a couple of videos online about it, and I've never done it before, so I'm just going to do it and see what I come up with. So I have this box of Arteza paints, even though the paints are right here. So the colors are white pink, blue, sky blue, yellow, lavender, uh, sea green, and bronze. So we're going to start with this. Let me just, uh... okay, there we go. Okay, so I just wanted to mention that these acrylic paints already have pouring medium inside of it, but if you're gonna use a different paint, you have to buy a pouring medium. But yeah, these, Artiez, Artiza, but yeah, let's go ahead and start. Okay, so I have this notepad right here filled with four techniques because there's a bunch of different techniques on how I can do this. So we're gonna start out with this little canvas right here. It's about the size of my head. So I gotta do this with my oversized gloves. Perfect for me. And so the first technique we're gonna do is called the splatter technique. Splatter technique is where I splatter paint on the canvas. Then I have to pick it up and tilt it very slightly. Okay, so I'm gonna, I had to shake all of these very well. So I'm gonna start with lavender. That's just a splatter of paint like that. Like that, just barely a splatter. Then I'm gonna do this one. What is this? This is sky blue. Oh yeah, you have to put white on top of it so it doesn't get muddy so i'm gonna put like some white like right here like that then i'm gonna put i'll put some white right there there you go now i'm gonna do this rose pink it's called rose pink i'm just gonna do like this and you have to and then i'm gonna put some more white on it so the point of muddy is that so like the the white is used so like it doesn't mix in so it doesn't look as ugly. I'm gonna do two at a time. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'll try my best. And now I'm gonna try and like mix it. Oh my God. Yeah, I need more. I, I, I need more. I need more purple. Yes, yes, I am an artiste. I am an artiste, artiste. Nobody can compare. Yes, yes, yes. All right, let's try that. Let's try this and see if it works now. Mm. Now we have to get it on like all the sides. Oh, I have to tilt it very lightly. It's turning out. I like these colors. These colors are, look at how it's, look at it so far. So I have to cover all of the canvas that's on top of it. I'm gonna add some more lavender. Some more lavender right here. That's white, oops. Some white right here, right here, right here. I love these colors. These colors are amazing. I'm gonna hang it in the house. Look at this. Look at this, so amazing. Okay, I have to get this one corner, then I would be done. Nope, I think this is done. It also looks pretty good. I like it. I like this. All right, first painting done. You know, for my first acrylic pour paint, this is really good. I really admire the colors that I chose and I really love it. I, I really do love it. All right, my first acrylic paint pour using the splatter technique is done. Now on to the second technique, which is called striping. The striping one is where I put, I put different paints in a cup. Okay, so I have to use a cup for this one. I'm gonna put white first, and instead of doing it in the middle, you have to do it, according to the YouTube video, you do it on the side. So I'm gonna put like, I might fill almost the whole cup. That should be good. And now I'm going to add blue. Ah, uh, yes. It's gonna look so pretty. All right, so now I got blue. 
ignore that little spot right there. <laughs> now I'm gonna add yellow in that same direction. It looks like eggnog. <laughs> it looks like a literal eggnog. All right, I'm gonna speed this bar up a bit. So I'm just about done. It looks gonna look like this. I added a pattern of, the pattern is blue, yellow, bronze, white, yellow, bronze, white, blue. So this is a lot of paint. So I'm just gonna, I might not pour it all of the cup. Ooh, look at this. Oh, this is so pretty. Ignore that little spot right there. Uh, boop. <laughs> all right. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, my, ooh, this looks like an ocean. <gasps> this looks like an ocean. This literally looks like an ocean. Oh, I think I just ruined it. Uh, gotta get this corner right here. This is how it looks right now. It looks like a sandy beach ocean. I think that line that I made in the middle of it helped. Okay, I'm just about done. It literally looks like what you would call a sandy ocean. This one, I used the strapping technique and just like the other one, it looks fantastic. I mean, don't tell me that you don't see a sandy beach. Well, my friends, this is going to be our last paint pour for this day. I'm gonna use the biggest canvas, comparison to my head, pretty big. So, for this last one, we are going to use the hardest and possibly the funnest technique. So this technique is called the stacking technique. So what you have to do, I'm going to get a new cup. Ah oh yes, my cup. And then I'm gonna get some new gloves. Some new gloves, still oversized. And so I'm going to do something fun. I'm gonna use all of the paints. Like I said, this last one is called the stacking technique. So the stacking technique, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to do all of these colors, all of the paints, and I'm going to stack it on top of each other. I'm going to start with white, and now I'm going to use this pink one. I'm going to do it like this, pink, bunch of pink. It's actually called rose pink. All right, I'm going to speed this up real quick. used all the colors this is what it looks like so what I'm basically going to do I'm going to take this canvas and I'm going to put it on there in the middle of it then I'm gonna carefully carefully do this I'm gonna carefully put it on here carefully then I have to wait 30 seconds so while we wait, let's watch one of my stuffed animals do an epic stunt. Hello, my name is Hello. Wait, what's her name? Hello Kitty. Oh, Hello Minnie. Hello, my name is Hello Minnie, and I'm gonna do an act today with my stunt devil, Mr. Lion. What do you have to say for yourself? I am Mr. Lion, <laughs> and I love potatoes. <laughs> That's great to inform, but I'm discovering something new. I'm gonna do a flip and you need to catch me. That's fine. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> you guys said you were supposed to catch me. But I'm also the famous person who's giving up free Lambos. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what a funny stuffed animal. All right, I think it's been long enough. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the cup. Ooh, I see a lot of pink and I see a lot of white. Before I finish this corner, I'm gonna add a few colors that I don't see. I'm gonna add some yellow right here. 
mustard color. I'm gonna add some bronze. Just a little. Some, I don't see a lot of these two colors. So let's do that. Oh yes, I am actually adding the splatter technique to this. Just realized. Okay, now I'm gonna tilt it to this corner. Oh yeah, look at that. Add some blue. Add some blue, yes, 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 yes. Oh my God, the pink just completely disappeared from this painting. Put, you know what? Put a little happy face. Because the world deserves some smiles. Now give it a, give it a little bit of a tilt. A little bit of a tilt. You know what? Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so I'm adding paint where there's nothing on the canvas right now. So this part is a little bit empty, so I have to add some a bit of bronze. Tilt it a little bit. Oh no, the smiley face. Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty good. It could use some pupils though. Let's give it some pupils. Yay! Now it's staring directly at me. And the last painting is finished. We have a little bit of bronze, a little bit of blue, a little bit of every color there is with a pink smiley face staring directly at you. This is the final product of all of my acrylic paint pours. Well guys, that's the end of our video. This was a pretty fun activity. You can do it for your YouTube channel if you have one. It's pretty fun to be honest. I have a, a little bit of a mess to clean up and I have a little bit of a dinner to eat so we're gonna wrap it up for today. I really hope you enjoyed my video. I'm just gonna put a little, little thing right here. Right here. Yeah, 50% of you who watch my videos don't actually subscribe. You can subscribe if you want to. You can even like. It's free. It's free. Just saying, just saying. One more thing before we end the video. Thank you so much for 51 subscribers. 50, 51. Thank you, like, thank you so much. I said this in a previous video of, I edited Ed Scroll because I can. If you haven't seen it, you should watch it probably. But yeah, I did mention in the description of that video of thanking you for 50 or 51 subscribers. But seriously, thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. Thanks for watching my video. Again, thank you for 51 subscribers. Like and subscribe, hit the notification so you don't miss a video. And that's it.